This is how stupid you look with those fucking headbands. You look like a fucking idiot. Hey, George, these are your people. These are your fucking people, man. What the fuck? You know, I think I'm a nice guy. I go through life. I'm respectful to people. I never trash talk. And everybody wants to fight me. I don't know what's going on. It was bad before I had the belt. Now, since I've got it, everybody wants to fight me. You know what? You can take the damn thing back. I was expecting some more you douchebags to have the fucking headbands on from Karate Kid today. Where are you all? Where are the GSB fans? Come on, George. What the fuck's going on? This is your place. Bisbing ends up winning game four, seven to four, and wins the coach's challenge. <laughs> Henderson, listen, Henderson's gonna die soon. Yeah. So I might as well knock him out. You know, I might as yeah. well put him in the grave. <laughs> if TJ sits out, does he get the winner? Say that again. If, if oh, TJ says that, an American I'm, accent. Uh, say that again. Hey, Dana. Where'd you get that jacket, man? You like it? No, it sucks. I did it myself. The <laughs> toilet star. So Do you need me to translate for you, Mike? A rematch, <laughs> okay, and TJ sits out on the sidelines, okay? <laughs> Does he get the, the title fight that he wanted for so long, bro? <laughs> <laughs> uh, Vito, when I fought him, he looked like uh, a cross between a powerlifting champion and the Incredible Hulk. <laughs> When he stepped it against uh, Chris Wyman, he looked like somebody's, you know, out of shape, middle-aged man, you know, like a, a dad that went to the gym once a week. Yeah, he's, he's like a Swedish hobbit. <laughs> <laughs> we do. No, Chris, I didn't take your title. I took it from Luke Rockhold, the guy that took it off you when he beat the living daylights out of you. <laughs> so get a grip, Chris. You started to sound pathetic. So there's certainly two different people. I would love to smash his face in and shut him up once and for all and get the, re the revenge. I have no respect for that guy whatsoever. I think he's a piece of shit, is what I think. And uh, I, I'm not sure if I'm getting my message across on how I feel about him. <laughs> Kevin, come on. <laughs> That's a rampage slap. I got that one off rampage. I'm not like that at all. You know, I'm always very courteous to people. I'm, I'm fan friendly. Obviously, Rockhold is a smug, arrogant so and so. I'll save the, the, uh, the, the, the foul language for another show. Which fighter inspired you? It's okay, Nate. I know <laughs> I inspired you. Don't worry about it. It's fine. It's fine. <laughs> I know it's just a sparring session. You fool. If everybody wants to punch me, I don't know. It's upsetting me. It really is. <laughs> Jack Ray uh, decided that he had no balls. A lot of these, uh, a lot of the UFC roster are. They're all posers. You know, I'm a real fighter. They're athletes. I ain't an athlete. I'm a fighter, and you're going to see that tomorrow night. You've got nothing going on between your ears, buddy. <laughs> I'm Michael Bisping, Luke Rockhold. You want to shake hands or are you good? Definitely, there'll be no. Be the best man win, Luke. There'll be no glove touch in oh. this one. That was counter punch. Thank By you. By the sportsman. Costa Philip who? Costa Philip who? No one even knows who that is, right? I couldn't really care less what some nerds on the internet think. Definitely. And I'll knock that smug look off your face, son, believe you me. I'll knock that weak little beard off your face, oh too. Oh, my God. Get one step closer to me, boy. I'll fucking knock you out. I'll fucking do it. Take one step. You ever knock out? Your boy last weekend, you fucking prick. Yeah, see you. Right. Good luck, buddy. Good luck. Say hi for your family. Right? No, no Viagra. No, no. <laughs> hey, <laughs> does, it, does it work? I'll wait for you. Are you getting out? Yeah. All, right, yeah. Yeah. All I care about is smashing this dickhead's head in tomorrow night. That's going to happen. You know, I bumped into Hector Lombard for the first time yesterday in the elevator, and I thought somebody was playing a practical joke. <laughs> I, I was like, who is this little poison dwarf? You know, he's about, he's about, he's about this big. I'm like, come on, seriously? <laughs> seriously, this guy? This is, this is the guy with all the hype? Uh, this is a press conference, by the way, Jorge. This is what you do. Just, I know it's your first time involved in something like this. Welcome to the big leagues. Um, after this, you'll be back to the undercard, believe me. Uh, 
I think he's in the wrong weight class. There's a 125 weight class. I think he should be in that. <laughs> he obviously wasn't getting enough sleep when he was a kid because or his mum was smoking or something because his, his growth has been majorly stunted. Um, I'm a fan of Shell Sonnen, but unfortunately, just lately, he's starting to look like a court jester as opposed to a fighter. And Saturday night, I'm going to make him look like the fool that he's become. We'll see how he does tomorrow night. I'm sure he'll do fine. Um, as long as somebody gives him a hand to get into the cage, maybe give him a little, <laughs> a little step up to get in, he'll be all right, you know. Uh, maybe he can stand on someone's shoulders. Um, We've settled our differences. He's apologised. He's turned down a fight with my son. Um, <laughs> and um, we're good now. We're good. He's OK. He knows his place. He's one of the little guys. I'm one of the big guys. I mean, Mark Munoz came bouncing into that fight like he was at a bloody NSYNC contest. Uh, he looked fat and overweight. He looked like <laughs> Alan Belcher's tattoo artist had switched careers and <laughs> done a bloody thing on the back of his head. Yeah. Assuming that Chael wins this fight Saturday, and to be fair, that's an accurate assumption. Um, how? Sorry, Bisming. I'm just a big Chael fan. Uh, yeah, you love uh, that one. Thank you. Uh, all right. Um, now can we have a question from a real journalist? Here we go. I saw, I saw him yesterday, and uh, he's got a very forgettable face, so he had to introduce himself again. I weren't sure. I mean, guys that don't reach my waistline don't really resonate with me too much. You know, I kind of think of them as children. And um, he said, hey, what's up, Mike? I'm like, whoa, who is this guy? And he said, it's me, Joseph. I'm like, oh, yeah, that right, yeah. <laughs> well, for those of you that can't see, this is the world championship title of which I took from Anderson Silva. And if he wants it back, he knows where to find me. Yeah, I think you can get them on eBay for about 29 <laughs> <laughs> That's what I was just checking. This man is a cheat. This man is a fraud. And I will make you pay for your mistakes tomorrow night, my friend. All the needles in your ass, all the steroids will not help you. You pussy. Just starts giving me, you know, and I'm like, what do you want? I go away, you know, and he's like, oh, what are you gonna do? Spit in my face? I said, no, I'm gonna knock you out. Off. You ban substances, um, uh, Van Lee Silva. Yes, he's a moron. He's an absolute moron. You oh, sorry, I thought we were playing word association. <laughs> Do it again. You Do it again. <laughs> okay, Van Lee Silva. He's a dick. Oh, Van sorry. <laughs> Van Lee Do it again. Silva. Do it again. Van Lee Silva. Can suck my. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm, for, I'm back now. I'm, I'm, I'm here he's to stay. one and done. <laughs> one and done, because he said like the little bitch that he is. If he loses, I'm going to retire. And then you gotta go and retire. It will be the end of you. We'll yeah, be we'll see, buddy. It's gonna take a bigger pile of shit than you to do it. That's a fact. You know, Kelvin's a great guy, but unfortunately, it's gonna take a bigger pile of than him to get rid of me. George, this ain't going the distance, pal. Look at that look at his face, like he's got a, a secret, like he knows. You don't know shit, pal. You don't know shit. George is a fucking posse. That's my thoughts. All you guys that are booing, unlucky motherfuckers, because tomorrow night, that fucking posse is going down. The difference is that he can't take steroids anymore because of USADA. That's the main difference. But I'll tell you what hasn't changed. He's got the same suit as the last press conference. Come on, George, you got some money, man. Buy a new suit, what the f look like a history teacher. Four years, he steps away. He's a drug cheat, he's a pussy, and tomorrow, he's gonna be a loser. Boo me, fuck you. Good luck to you tomorrow, sir. Look, have you looked in the mirror? There's nothing terrifying about you at all. You used to look like a history teacher, now you look like a stockbroker. Both of those are still pussies. Go away, go away, you punk bitch. Look at you. You're a fucking punk. You are a punk. You are a bad representation of this sport. Look at you, fucking trash. Walk away into the fucking bitch. You trash, man. You trash. You are a trashy motherfucker. I owe it to everybody. So, uh, boo. You're going to be crying Saturday night, pal. I feel sorry for you. If you still have a voice from all that retarded screen you're doing, you're going to be crying Saturday night. Bye, George. Sweet dreams. 
Three drinks, train hard, take steroids. Don't get caught though, don't get caught! Don't get caught, Jay! Right here. Fuck you. Kiss my ass. Look at you, little skinny bitch. Yeah, you're right. Look at these ass bitch, and I've been eating cheeseburgers all week long. Ain't no one up here called George Masvidal. That little bitch, yeah, he'll get a slap when the time's right. I honestly, someone had to tell me who he was, so uh, I don't know. Guy's got a chip on his shoulder. I've heard he's a piece of shit. He certainly <laughs> acts like one. Look at you, you're trash. You this are, you live for. This you are you live trash. For. Just like your other stereotypical motherfucker, you're a Fuck you.